Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of City Beat. I'm your host, Janet, and if you're here for the Golden Week, we've got some great ideas up ahead for you. Let's take a look at the top stories. First up, we hit Shanghai's nightclub. We'll see how the masters of spin are packing them in on the dance floor. Lifestyle beat takes to the skies, and we'll learn more about the traditional art of kite flying. And we tour the city's latest art exhibit. All this and much more coming up on City Beat. Shanghai is known as one of the hottest places for nightlife, and this weekend we can check out the packed clubs, the great music, and the excellent DJs. We get to jump to the front of the line and check out the hottest clubs in town. Over the last two years, Shanghai has been transformed from a bar town into a clubbing capital. Hot music plus cool drinks equals one wild Shanghai nightlife. New venues are springing up every other night, and lucky party animals have many options. Even world name brands that have come in. To try to、uh, to open a club here with lots of money, lots of backing, and、um, and it simply doesn't work. It's how, how they can do it is to be very careful about、uh, about how how they go about building this、uh, this bar or club. How do you、uh, you know understanding the market here? You know understanding what 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 are the successful elements to the club? What do the people want here? And there's lots of companies that are、uh, doing it wrong, and, and very few that actually get it right. Reasons why some venues sink are clear. Unlike the successful popular spots, they lack some very important factors. Those two elements: how you position yourself, what kind of market are you going for?、Um, do you want to choose a, a very、uh, local audience? Do you want to choose a very、uh, international audience, or a mix of, of both? So those key elements、uh, need to need to be considered and, and thrown into the mix to come up with the right、uh, successful formula. Location、uh, management is important because、uh, it's easy to 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 bring people in in one place, but it's、uh, it's more it's harder to to keep people in the place.、Uh, it's a bar for famous people, and、uh, everybody can be a, a VIP. You can. You can approach a lot of VIP. You can approach a lot of celebrities. That's why. Owning a distinct identity is also quite crucial to the staying power of these clubs. Some, like VIP Room, DKD, and Babyface, are known for continually inviting world-class DJs and holding enormous parties with exclusive shows. Recently, the VIP room dished out big bucks to have the world's number one hip hop DJ, Blue Kid, perform. It don't have to be. It don't have to be China. It don't have to be、um, Japan. It don't have to be Africa. It don't. It don't have to be like Europe. As long as you know how to creatively cross over, that's why I come out here. I don't just come out here DJ, chase girls. I, I'm like I, I do networking. I, I meet the DJs out here. Figuring out what kind of music party goers want is the DJ's first concern. Throwing in a few surprises each night also keeps the club hot. An unexpected hip hop fashion show lights a fire on the already steaming dance floor. I feel like hip hop represents like a culture, it's a language, and、um, it's a lifestyle which it sets a lot of fashion statements nowadays. Not here, but it's like very sophisticated, sexy sportswear in conjunctions with using shirting material. Shanghai's international reputation has supported the boom in the nightclub world. Although we don't know yet whether the demand for hotspots has been met, one thing is for sure: clubbers only head to the places where they'll have a great time. Creating that venue is the challenge, as the truly successful clubs were not built overnight. <laughs> <laughs> 